Hey guys, it's Raisin Raccoon, bringing you some more Action 52. And today we have French Baker. We're about to finish this first page. Okay, so French Baker. This time there's a typo on the wiki, which is weird. It says Mowl description. This actually kind of gets me wondering. Maybe the instruction manual wasn't littered with typos. Maybe there actually is some fault on the wiki. I think I have to find a PDF for the actual manual. Anyways, it says you may try to keep the cookie patterns pounding and the bread rising, but it's not as easy as it sounds. So here is level one. It's an arcade game. It's actually pretty fitting, considering I actually pulled off the turkey this year. Yes, on this Black Friday evening, I am telling you and boasting about how I actually made the turkey correctly. It was actually really nice. I'm pretty stunned that everything worked out as it did. As long as I don't burn the house down, I think that's one achievement for the books. So it looks like you're throwing like rolling pins. There's no way I'm going to be able to get those guys up there. The music is actually pretty nice. Alright, let's see. Here's my chance. Is this it? Nope. I guess they're going to appear. The thing is, they appear whenever they want, so it's really tough. Whoa, level 2. So this is giving me, like, Illuminator vibes. Uh, I can kind of... Whoa, okay, so he does not care about platforms. That's not cool. Yeah, it's another arcade-style game. A lot of these are either, like, shooters or arcade-style games, like Illuminator. Shit. First death, not too bad. Nothing too crazy to report. I wonder if I can scroll. Oh, I can't. I'm trying to go to the right, but nothing's happening. And the donuts are glitching out. It's interesting, actually. I think when the NES uh, emulators are running, they always tend to make everything go flashy. If you're recording on an old Dazzle or some sort of old equipment, you will actually be able to see you'll actually be able to see the flicker i don't know it's i guess it's something with the frame rate and what it's displaying one thing that uh is kind of shit about this game is you can't jump you actually can't jump you're stuck to the ground and all you really have is the speed about you again catching up on black friday there's not really that many good deals this year you know it's about to end in a couple hours that, that shit's over and nothing really too big to report. I actually really want to get the Pokemon game, the Pokemon Diamond, but unfortunately the Walmart I went to was sold out. It's actually good to get it at Walmart because uh, every new game that comes out, in store they have a uh, 10 bucks off. It can be a brand new game and they'll still do like 10 bucks off. I don't know why, but it's it's good for me. I'm hoping to get Advance Wars in the future when that shows up. I actually just finished some leftovers. Ooh, the leftovers are attacking me in the game and in real life. You know, come to think of it, I don't know what those squares are supposed to be. I mean, I know the donuts and the hot dogs, I'm guessing. What the hell is that? I'm guessing a donut? You're a baker. You actually really can't get these guys too close to you or they will get you. Shit. Go up, go up, go up. What? It went right through him. Honestly, I'm not that surprised. This game has already kind of given me what to expect within the last few games. I like the little bloody knives here. That's pretty uh, harrowing. It kind of looks like a car up there, like the front or the back of a car. But I think that's like the, you know, the deli uh, behind the counter where all the meats are. Shit. Alright, the leftovers are striking back. I don't know if I can take much more of this. What am I supposed to do here? I'm trying my darnest, but... Damn it, dude, I can't. I'm just gonna wait till the... Uh, no, because the hot dog goes fast as shit, too. Alright, I, I have a plan. I'm gonna get this postal. Nope. You really can't get them all together. If you get them all together, you're kind of screwed. You're gonna lose. So you gotta break up the pairs as fast as possible. Shit! What sucks is the enemies just appear. There's no like warning, there's no nothing, they just kind of show up. So I can be like going up a ladder and someone could have just been on the top right there just spawning and I would have- Like that! Yeah, no, this uh, these leftovers have gotten the best of me. I'm already kind of about to tap out. Oh, I keep going back to the checkpoint, but I'm actually really glad I got one on the beginning of this level because man, like... I don't know, maybe maybe the game actually learns how you play. Like, as you play this Action 52, it just kind of, like, 
starts to figure out a pattern of what you do. Oh no, I'm not letting four of them up there. No way. It would be cool if it was like a tapper kind of game where like you actually kill them all and it's it's done. Oh shit. Oh no! Alright, honestly, let's just get uh, these two lives out of the way. I think I'm done with this one. This one's just a little bit too much. This kitchen is really, like, big though. Lost a life there. I mean, like, the furnace is here. We have, like... Oh shit, they're all on this one platform. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. As long as it doesn't hit, or it doesn't go through them, I should be fine. And that's about it. Well guys, that was French Baker, another arcade game. I'm pretty sure the third screen is just going to be the same bullshit. This is Raisin Raccoon signing out. Thank you for watching.